Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot and fix a computer which is turning on with LED lights and fan spinning but no display on the monitor. It's not booting up. And in today's case, it could be a power supply issue, although deceivingly it looks like it should not because there are signs of life. All this coming up after we roll the intro. Hey Nim Tags and welcome, this is Ash from Hill My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. On this channel we do reviews, repairs and tutorials of tech, including sharing some entrepreneur tips. And uh, we repair anything from computers to laptops to TVs and uh, domestic appliances. Now soon enough I'm going to be integrating all three major operating systems, Linux, Windows and Mac. So it's really exciting. So do consider subscribing if you are new and enable the bell icon for future notifications. Now, this free desktop computer was a rescue from the streets because someone was moving out and they just left it outside amongst a few other electronics. I asked them, they were happy for me to take it, took it home, turned it on and voila, it was working fine, no problem. Obviously, it's an old desktop PC. It's a compact presario. I guess it's five R or SR5000 series, something like this. It's got an AMD Athlon dual core, a um, couple of gigabytes of DDR2 RAM, Windows Vista, and a generic hard disk drive, about 250 gigabyte. So it was working fine, obviously a little bit old, about 10 years old maybe. But recently it started giving me some problems and uh, sometimes it would boot up, sometimes not boot up, no display on the monitor. So I decided to have a look and fixed it and indeed it was the power supply. Now for today's problem, in terms of troubleshooting any computer issue, it's simply a matter of elimination. I've done a few videos on the topic and there's also a series on troubleshooting stuff where we identify 10 main components of any computer and laptop as well. And if you know what the problem is, you can easily go and replace or repair that part, right? Saying that though is never that simple. So I do suggest you go and watch these series and also these one off videos on various other symptoms because your mileage is going to vary even though the symptoms may be the same, the causes could be different. Now power supply issue is a very funny one. It can be very easily overlooked because people usually think if the power supply is not working then it will not turn on at all or if it does turn on there will be some other issue, something will be get blown. Now it's not always the case, especially with these older power supplies. I've had a few of them over the years, especially with older desktops and you know the boutique ones, the ones that come from HP, Dell, not to single out any single company but I'm just saying older computers. What can happen is if your power supply is failing, it can show turning on correctly sometimes and other times not. So you could do things like hard reset, you could uh, unplug the cables and plug everything back and then it would work. So you would think there's some other problems like maybe it could be the graphics card, it could be a RAM issue, it could be even the monitor, it could be anything, but you might overlook the power supply. Now there are two main ways to test a power supply. I did a couple of videos on them. Now on one video I talked about a dead computer not turning on and we did a pin test. With a pin test, you can actually find out whether the power supply will turn on or not, okay? What that test will not give you is the correct voltage, whether that's going to be delivered to the computer. So for that, there's a more advanced um, test to do if you use a multimeter, and I've got the video up there or link below, but it's a bit more tricky, so be careful if you do that one, okay? Now let me show what I mean by going to my test bench and doing some practical demonstration. Okay, so to demonstrate this, I've got a new EVGA430 power supply in there, which is working. So we're going to turn this on. You've got a fan spinning here, and you've got a fan spinning on the power supply as well. And if everything is working fine, you should see green light on there. And there we go, got the screen being displayed and it's probably going to go into the um i don't want it to boot actually maybe it could boot if it wants but you get the idea that this is clearly booting up properly and uh, you should see the linux mint on there there you go so that's working fine okay now what we're going to do we're going to off this and uh shut down now this was the original power supply I took out okay this is from uh, 
Delta Electronics, 300 watt, and it's a bit dusty, so I apologize. What we're going to do first is we are going to, off everything behind there, we're going to take off the 24 pin connection to the motherboard. There you go. Oops, and we're also going to take off the four pin CPU connector and we're going to try to connect the original power supply starting with the 24 pin down here and with the 4 pin CPU if I can find it where is it gone? there you go, the 4 pin CPU let's plug that into here Okay, I would not advise you to do this. I am experienced with building computers if you're not too sure. It is relatively safe just placing this on top because we've disconnected the other one. But if you want to do this in a better way, just make sure you take everything out, okay? So we're going to remove the mains plug and connect it to this one. Okay, as you can see, this one hasn't got a back switch. Okay, so everything okay now? So now we're going to press the button on and if everything is working actually if everything is not working you will not see the display coming on at all and I can move this power supply to check for the green light no green light is coming onto here so no matter what you do at this stage nothing's going to come on and that's the problem okay so to reconfirm this, we can leave this on for a few seconds, but nothing's going to happen. To reconfirm this, we're going to off this. Can't off this really. I'm going to unplug it. There's power um, coming in. The fan from the power supply is also spinning. And we've offed everything. There you go. I'm going to take it off. By the way, all this is in one shot just to show you. So we're not messing about. All we're disconnecting in this case is the power supply and we're going to reconnect the good power supply which is the EVGA and the 24 pin if I can find the hole yep 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 it's almost there sorry guys having a bit of trouble here there we go that's sorted now let's put the plug I think the plug dropped I'll put the mains plug back in there turn it on and now let's press the power button on let's watch the screen hopefully we'll have green light on the side do I have green light I have green light should see splash screen there you go come back and it should boot up into Linux Mint, like I mentioned. And that goes to show sometimes just a simple swap of a good power supply can determine the problem. While we're waiting for this to boot up, let me know in the comment section below what kind of specific troubleshoot you'd like me to do in the future. Here we go, Linux Mint is back on. So all is good. Right, so let's head back to our air roll and we'll do some last thoughts so there you go i hope that was simple enough for you do remember your issue may be similar but the cause might be different there's still things to check out for cpu ram uh, a whole array of stuff but it's something worth doing now the other way for you to check whether your power supply is working or not is to put that power supply in a different system which you know to be working for sure however if the power supply is a bit dodgy uh, there is a chance you could you know blow something else up in that new system so it's not exactly recommended um, what i would do would be try to get a non-working power supply from a different you know place and put it in that system from which you took this power supply out which basically is exactly what we've done okay it's a bit safer since then i've also kind of upgraded it a bit to turn it into a full homework pc for the kids so if you want to see that video it should be coming up shortly you can check out the link above 
or in the description below. We used a low distribution of Linux to make it perfectly functioning. Not bad for a free computer from the streets, hey? One more thing, I do believe this computer can be further upgraded into a low entry level gaming PC. So if you guys want to see this, do let me know in the comment section below and we're going to get cracking on that video. Which brings me to a problem. You guys, at least some of you, are still asking me questions with incomplete information, uh, in the wrong context, on the wrong video, and some of the questions itself, I don't even understand the problem, let alone give you help for advice or diagnosis or a prognosis. So please, please, please learn how to ask questions correctly in the comments or privately. The good news is in the future, I will be tackling a lot more of this troubleshoot series for both desktops and laptops and all the techs obviously including tutorials on software because this seems to be the bulk of what you guys want but you're gonna have to help me out and i'm gonna need your support and one more thing if you do hear any kind of background what sounds like music is just natural voice uh, it's not actually musical instruments i don't really want to use musical instruments in my video in the last one the zoom h6 with the 3.5 millimeter jack input was actually a humming thing without musical instrument just trying to spice up the video so that's it for today folks um you know what to do down below as usual give me a like give me a comment and also subscribe if you have not done so yet thank you so much for watching as always this was ash from Hill my tech helping you go from newbie to techie until next time Peace out.